Hello and welcome to another maintenance video from the engine bay. Today we're talking about Jabsco twist lock toilets. Uh, the good thing about these type of toilets, the manual ones, is they don't use any power and they use seawater to flush. The bad thing is they need regular servicing and maintenance. So the footage for this blog was taking over several servicings so you'll have to forgive any continuity errors. We've always had problems with this toilet. Um, it's always been a bit stiff and always been a bit leaky. The kids use that toilet a lot more than they use the other one and uh, it probably gets a lot more abuse. Um, we've got two toilets on board. One I serviced about a year ago, which seems to be working still fine. One I serviced six months ago and it's got stiff. Just got to take things apart using the Japsco assembly diagram um, and start replacing it bit by bit and just actually try and work out what is wrong with it. Even though I pump plenty of fresh water through the system before I start, you should always really wear gloves and use plenty of disinfectant, something that I often forget. So the first job was to remove the valve cover. and remove the piston assembly. And I couldn't believe the amount of calcium buildup on the plunger. And in this case, the rubber top valve and the cam came off with it, as you can see. So I had to remove those calcium deposits from the plunger. So we've got a bit of leakage coming from the top here, which must be related to the seals down here. So to get those off, I'm going to have to take this handle off, which is easier said than done because it's quite stiff. Ah, got some really tight mole grips there, and a bit of cloth, and that just screws off. So those so just slide off, so that goes on the bottom of the handle. And now I can get to those seals in there. So I've got a service pack. It's the full service pack with the seals. This is the fella. I need this one out. So I'm just going to get that seal out of there. Although I think there's a bit missing off that. Just gonna put that O-ring on there. Should go on there, okay. Should place the rubber seal on that handle. I'll replace the uh, piston rod o-ring and I'll also give that a little bit of a clean while, while it's out. Next I moved the pump cylinder to get to the flapper gasket or the base gasket. So you can see there should be a, an even gap all the way around that flap and there isn't, in fact it's actually rubbing on itself so that definitely needs replacing. So next I removed the dreaded joker valve which was absolutely caked in calcium and very difficult to remove. Never seen so much calcium in a toilet before. And then I removed the discharge elbow, which was also caked in calcium.
So everywhere I look, there's just a buildup of calcium. So I'm gonna have to take this off as well and give this a good clean. Fortunately, the gap on that is too big, so that's going to have to be replaced. Even after removing the calcium, I don't think that's going to come to its normal shape. Okay, so I've cleaned the choker valve and the elbow bend with uh, a 20% hydrochloric mix. So what started out as just investigating a very small drip has turned into a complete strip down. So once everything was either cleaned or replaced, I had it all to put back together again. So I replaced the base valve gasket or flapper gasket at the bottom of the pump cylinder. So these are self-tapping screws, so you don't want to tighten them up too tightly. And I replaced the rubber top valve gasket, uh, but the cam itself was fine, so I just put the old one back in place. And the piston assembly and valve cover. And finally, the hoses. So that was it, job done. And the toilet was back in commission. So I'm gonna give it a generous helping of um, olive oil. Just to help it on its way. Ooh, Only the best olive oil will do. The only problem is we have two heads, two toilets on board, so I had to repeat the process all over again. So thanks for watching, and a special thank you to our patrons who keep us going through good times and bad. If you found this blog useful and you're the type of person who likes to return a favour, then you can buy me a beer by following the links to PayPal or Patreon in the description below. And now you can also buy one of our crew shirts by following the links to our merch store.